This beauty is prying the door of the men's room, but as soon as she put her hand out, the man outside took a bite out of it. The girl did not have time to withdraw her hand. The man took two more bites. The beauty was scared out of her cold sweat on the spot. At this time the man bit off her finger. The girl instantly screamed in pain. Mary did not think that she just had an indescribable affair with her boyfriend, and then this perverted guy was onto her, just an hour before. Mary and her boyfriend were driving to their home in Texas, but halfway there they suddenly got excited, so they pulled off to a side road for some excitement. Mary also took out her camera to record their good time. Here's a picture you don't like to see, we'll just dip it. And before the couple knew it, their actions were watched by a truck driver. The two had just finished playing poker, and were going to take a break at the rest stop. Mary also went to the bathroom to use the toilet, but as soon as the girl entered the door, she was shocked. This toilet is simply horrible. The toilet still had a strong smell on it, but Mary could not resist going into a cleaner pit. But when she squatted down, she realized that the surrounding door panel was full of weird messages. There was also a substitute license plate number on the side. Mary did not take it all to heart, but when she came out of the toilet, she found that her boyfriend and the car disappeared. Mary thought it was all a joke by her boyfriend. She took out her cell phone and prepared to yell at him. There was no signal here. The girl had no choice but to go to the highway for help. At that moment, a pickup truck suddenly drove ahead. Fortunately, Mary reacted quickly enough. Otherwise, she would have been hit by the truck on the spot. The girl thought it was an accident, but unexpectedly the pickup truck suddenly turned around and threw a red brick at her. Mary picked it up and found that it was her boyfriend's cell phone. It was also covered with bright red blood. Then Mary took a look at the truck's license plate number. The numbers on it were exactly the same as the ones on the toilet, watching the truck leaving quickly in front of her. Mary also realized that something was wrong. Her boyfriend must be in danger. The girl immediately went to the phone booth to call the police, but the phone line had already been cut. With no choice but to use a stone to break the glass and force her way to the rest stop room. Here she found a radio station and contacted the police. Just when Mary thought she was about to be saved, she suddenly found her boyfriend's car parked in front of the door. But strangely enough, no one was in the car. Curious, Mary immediately went inside to check. But just as she sat down, she noticed her hands were covered in blood. The scared girl instantly realized that something was wrong, quickly twist the key and prepare to leave. But no matter how she tried to ignite the car just could not start. At that moment, the pickup truck also drove up. He rammed into Mary's car at full speed. Luckily, the girl climbed out of the car in time or she would have been killed on the spot. When Mary did not know what to do, the pickup truck turned around and left the place. And Mary sensed that the office was not safe, so she went back to the dirty toilet. But when Mary was about to look in the mirror, there was a strange cry for help from behind her. Sensing that something was wrong, she immediately went to check. She saw a bruised wound staring at her through the door. The girl then told Mary, when she and her boyfriend came to the toilet to find excitement. She was locked up by the truck driver, and was subjected to inhuman torture every day. Just after she finished peeking, the woman began to spit blood. Mary was instantly stunned by the scene in front of her, then turned around and went to the warehouse to get a crowbar. But when she came back again, the woman was gone. Only a line of clues was left on the wall. This strange message instantly confused Mary. Then she rushed to the bulletin board to check the missing person's information. But the strange thing was that the woman had been missing for 99 years. Mary could not tell whether the person she just saw was a human or a ghost. At that moment, John, who had been alerted to the situation, also came over. The girl immediately told her about the situation here. But before the words were said the pickup truck drove by again. Police officer John rushed up to ask the situation. But the driver said he was just passing through here. And John believed him. Then asked Mary if she was lying. The result is that before the girl could explain to him, John was hit by the pickup truck. See this. I have to admire the intelligence of this police officer. It's like giving away heads on purpose. Then the driver pulled the chain. Directly to the side of the motorcycle. And then dragged all the way madly. Now the only means of transportation was also destroyed by the criminals. Now the two are completely trapped here. Mary had no choice but to drag the injured officer into the bathroom. While she was about to stop John's bleeding. The pickup truck drove by again. The nervous girl hurriedly brought a wooden board to block the door. But the driver had no intention of coming in. Instead, he locked the two inside. So this guy was going to trap them in the toilet. After making sure the truck driver left with his own eyes, Mary immediately grabbed a crowbar and pried the door open. Soon she poked a small hole in it. She hurriedly reached out to hook the wire outside, but unexpectedly a pair of black hands suddenly grabbed her. The driver did not leave, but bit off the girl's finger. When Mary pulled her hand out, her right index finger was broken. The girl instantly became angry, picked up a pistol, and shot at the door in a flurry. But what she didn't expect was, the man dodged every shot she fired, and then also threw a camera through the window. A closer look, it turned out to be a video of her boyfriend's persecution. The more she watched, the angry Mary became. She was about to shoot out the window with her gun when she accidentally found the man pouring gasoline into the house. Mary had no choice but to drag the police officers to the corner. It turns out that this guy was going to burn the two alive. John knew he couldn't escape. He asked Mary to give him a shot. 
Finally the girl could only bear the pain of pulling the trigger, and then she climbed up onto the counter above the toilet. But when she looked back, John had disappeared. And at this point, Mary did not have time to think. After all, it's important to run for your life. The man also threw the lighter into the room. The gasoline on the floor was instantly ignited. Mary escaped from the room at the last moment. But the killer did not intend to let the girl go. He was chasing after her all the way. Mary had no choice but to dive into the grass. Then when the man got out of the car to search, she suddenly launched a sneak attack from the side with an iron bar. Angry Mary went up to beat. She didn't give the man any chance to resist. In the end, the murderer was killed by her on the spot. But when Mary turned to the man's face, she realized that it was her boyfriend she had killed. His mouth was gapped so he couldn't speak, and Mary let out a desperate scream. She couldn't let her boyfriend die in vain. The next day, the girl went to the bottom of the car and got a bucket of gasoline. Then she made a Molotov cocktail. When the murderer came over again, Mary threw it directly at his car. Looking at the charred car in front of Mary finally read the sigh of relief. When she looked closer, she was shocked. There was no one in the car. Then she turned her head. Then the picture turned. The rest stop had been renovated. And Mary was waiting inside for another person who came to the toilet for excitement.